In this SchoolSpy tutorial, I'd like to show you how to insert an image to the content area of your page. So I'm just going to go to uh, school information and we're just going to have a look at our nursery page as it stands at the moment. Okay, so on our nursery page at the moment, we've got uh, quite a lot of text there, but actually no images in the content area. So I've logged into the admin area here and I've just clicked manage website and add or edit website page. So we find our nursery page in the list there and click on the edit button. And this is the where the text stands in the in the admin area. So I'm just going to space down there and place my cursor where I'd like the image to to appear. And then I'm just going to click on this icon here, which is the image icon. And that brings up your little image properties box. And what this is going to do, it's going to allow you to browse server. And if your image isn't already in the files there, you can upload an image to the server. And this will take you through to your shared files. So you can pick wherever your image is stored. So I'm just going to pick pictures. And I'm just going to upload this image here and open. That's going to upload that image to the server. And when it's done that, what it'll do is it'll highlight it in yellow for you to tell you that that's the last one that you've uploaded. So, so I'm just going to double click on that, which again brings you back to the properties box. Now you can see here the width and the height of this image that I've uploaded is uh, pretty big. So I'm just going to change that so it's going to fit on our page. Now I've changed the width there, um, but this is locked so I can't change the height. So if I did want to change the height, I can just unlock that. And then just change that in there to whichever height I'd like it to be. We can put a board around the image if we want to. I'm just going to click OK. And that's going to upload the image into the content area there. We're just going to save all details. And then if we just go back to the website and give it a quick refresh, we can see there that's uploaded the image into the content area.